Hi friends, let's brief on pulp capping. Pulp capping is of two types, direct pulp capping and indirect pulp capping. Direct pulp capping is defined as a procedure in which the exposed vital pulp is covered with a protective dressing or base, place it directly over the site of exposure in attempt to preserve the pulp vitality. Look at the picture carefully. Now let's go into indirect pulp capping. It is a procedure where the deepest layer of remaining affected carious dentin is covered with a layer of biocompatible material in order to prevent the pulpal exposure and further trauma to pulp without signs and symptoms of pulp degeneration. Look at the picture carefully. Here the main difference between direct and indirect pulp capping is medicament is placed directly over the vital pulp in direct pulp capping. In indirect pulp capping, the medicament is placed on the affected carious dentin. Now let's learn what are the pulp capping materials. Number one, calcium hydroxide. Number two, mineral trioxide aggregate, which is also called as MTA. Number three, tricalcium phosphate. Four, bioaggregate. Five, biodentin. Six, bonding systems and others. The most commonly used pulp capping agent is calcium hydroxide. Now let's know the ideal properties of pulp capping agents. They should stimulate reparative dentin formation. They should be bactericidal or bacteriostatic, which can provide a bacterial seal. They should adhere well to dentin and restorative materials. They should resist the forces under restoration for lifetime. They should be sterile and radio opaque. Now let's go into indications for direct pulp capping. Asymptomatic conditions where the exposure is less than 0.5 mm diameter, hemorrhage which can be easily controlled, and exposure where it is clean and uncontaminated. Now the contraindications for direct pulp capping are large carious exposure in symptomatic permanent tooth. Now let's go into indications for indirect pulp capping. Permanent teeth diagnosed with normal pulp with no signs or symptoms of pulpitis. And contraindications are large pulp exposure, non-restorable tooth or tooth with low prognosis. Thank you friends for watching. Please do subscribe for more.